The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 635. I Need Answers. So, Valette closed her eyes and took a deep breath, sitting in the middle of Wallace's airship with Maple, Starlight, Gerardo, Amber, and Slipstream, all in attendance. Even Shinespark was there, having been carried from her room on the Immortal Dream by her friends. I've got some stuff to say. Marina nodded quietly, guarding the door, the only one of Wallace's team present. We're listening, Maple promised. I found out, Valet began, that apparently telling the future is a heresy here. Bananas, someone really needs to make a list of every last one of them, but whatever. And, uh, you all basically know what my cutie mark does. Amber folded her ears. And the reason it's a heresy, Valet glanced at Marina, is because apparently that some super special power only Garshiva is supposed to have. Or something. Indeed, it is, Gerardo drooped. I do apologize for not making you more aware of that, but you seemed inclined to hide it from the Empire at large due to the tournament regardless, and it didn't seem like something you would appreciate thinking about, so I never pressed the subject. Uh, Valet sighed. Thanks, Berto. Listen, before I go further, tell me all the heresies. I want to know all of them. No more surprises. Gerardo nodded. No interspecies relationships between ponies, cerosians, and griffins. Sphinxes are exempt. No incest, no cannibalism, no formally declaring war against Mistvale or attempting to expand the Empire onto their territory. No preventing the Cerosians from placing dusk statues wherever they please. No piracy, no constructing mana generators, no attempting to foretell the future. The Night Mother also has her own set of heresies, some of which are identical to these. And that is everything of which I am aware. Great, Valet rubbed her forehead with a wing. Okay, no more surprises. Bananas, some of those are common sense and others are just weird. And you're 100% sure that's everything? Gerardo's head crest perked. Actually, all of them have quite sensible explanations if you ask any politician or any of Garshiva's most devout. The relationship prohibition is in the name of protecting national sovereignty, since otherwise things would become very tangled. Given the way House Inheritance works, outlawing incest is practically mandatory to ensure the Sphinx population isn't eradicated by genetic deviancy, and yeah, that's cool, Valet waved a wink. I already know about the one that matters. She looked around at everyone, starting to pace on the ship's wooden floor. I've always not been entirely comfortable with what I am. Moonglass, maybe soul from space? I've done my best to live with it. It doesn't stop me from fighting or hanging out or being friends with you all. But the more I find, even when I'm not looking, especially now that I'm finding stuff without looking, uh, she took a breath. I can't keep doing this. I just can't. And as much as I'm scared of winding up like Chauncey, looking for answers to the world's secrets so hard that I give up my morality and everything else to find them, I need to know. You get what I'm saying? I'm not sure I do, Maple admitted. That sounds like an apology, but you haven't done anything? Haven't yet, but I'm gonna. Valet gave her a look. You remember how friendly Chauncey was being when we talked with him, even though he had no right to? I kind of got distracted because he was really bad at getting to the point when doing evil speeches, but he was talking about how he wants to make a goddess who can champion bad ponies better than the Night Matter, right? And he was talking about how Stanza is a machine designed to swap cutie marks around, and I just found out he was the one who sent Kero and his mercenaries to attack me in the Flame District, and now that my cutie mark is something apparently only Garshiva is supposed to do, you see where I'm going with this, right? Ember's eyes widened slightly. Chauncey wanted to make you still want, Valet corrected, feeling a lump in her throat. He even told me he could help with my whole problem of getting the old valet back, involving giving up this body. I don't know why it took me so long to put all this together, but I don't think ignoring where I came from and pretending I'm normal is gonna work anymore. It probably took as long as it did, because you don't want it to be true, Maple said. So, what are you going to do? Try to get more answers. I need answers, Valet sighed, straightening up. 
I have no idea how deep this rabbit hole goes, but somewhere, somehow, there has to be an explanation for who I am, what I am, and why I'm here. And even if it's one I don't like, it's no longer worth not knowing. Uh, she glanced around at everyone. And I've got a pretty decent idea where to start. You remember how, back on the pirate ship, it was like I flipped a switch and all those bad ponies suddenly started treating me like I was holy? I just rolled with it at the time because it was majorly convenient, but now I think I must have bragged or something and mentioned how my cutie mark works. I bet they know. I bet someone in Mistvale has a pretty good idea what my deal is. If Chauncey wants to be nice to you so badly, you could also just ask him, Starlight offered. Yeah, that's... Ugh, Vully rubbed her face. But he's weird, and... Yeah, I probably should ask him before I go do anything else. Starlight nodded. I'll come too, if it helps. Now, look, hold on. Vully held out a wing, interrupting her. This is my problem, and... I mean... Thanks. So is that it, then? Amber smiled uncertainly. We're flying to Mistvale? Do you have any place to start, or even a map? We do have a month until the tournament, we have nothing better to do. Slow down, slow down. Valet waved a wing for quiet. First off, it's totally up to you guys whether you want to not even in question, Gerardo interrupted, everyone else nodding along. Splitting the party would be a ridiculous notion. When there's adventure to be had, Shinespuck is injured, you're the most capable of us in combat, and we only have one ship, with most of the world neutral toward us at best. Ah, Valet feebly grinned. Eh, sure thing, Birdo. Uh, she glanced over at Marina. What about you guys? Sounds like a good idea, bad idea. I don't suppose you'd want to come too? Uh, Marina hesitated. I don't want to speak for Wallace, but it's not impossible. We might also want to keep an eye on Isvaldi. If you're really thinking of going to Misfield, though, you won't want to go without a guide and a goal. Tell me why you want to go, and don't do it unless you can give me a very certain answer. I want to go because I want to know what my deal is, Valet replied. I'm going to talk to Chauncey first, but unless I get a perfect answer out of him, and we all know that's not happening, those Mistfield pirates revered me or something. Someone there has to know something about my cutie mark, about the stuff from space. I'll go straight to the High Council or whatever if I have to. I'm going because I'm tired of having this hanging over my head, and once I know what's up with who I am and where I come from, I can finally figure out how to live with it in peace. Don't go without a guide, Marina repeated. And good luck. For a moment, the room was silent, Valet having had her say. Eventually, Gerardo spoke up. Now, you just have to figure out how to tell the prince his new vacation spot is being commandeered for an adventure. Leave that to me, Amber promised, slapping a hoof against her chest. I've got away with these things. How soon are we thinking? Valet shrugged. How long is the flight? Marina glanced at her. From here to the border? Uh, one or two days. Depends on your ship. You flew to Gyre. It's a shorter trip than that, since you don't have to go as far east. Bananas! The Empire's tiny compared to the rest of the world. Uh, Valet rubbed the back of her head. It took us like a whole month to fly here from Einridge. Someday I'm gonna get a proper geography lesson, and it'll blow my mind. Uh, she shook it off and got to her hooves. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna go bother Chauncey and see if there's anything more I can learn. I'm not really in a mood to wait. I'm coming too, Starlight volunteered, to talk to Chauncey. You sure? Valet raised a dubious eyebrow. I mean, I'm not gonna stop you, but he's kind of, uh, shady? Starlet shrugged. I have something I want to ask him, too. We won't take too long. Maple gave a hesitant smile. Well, all right. I feel like there's a lot more to this than what you've said, and that's okay because we trust you. But I would like to talk with you about this before we fly too far, okay? Yeah, I would do iron flanks, while I sighed, beckoning for Starlight to climb onto her damp back for the flight to the hospital. I would too. End of chapter 635